it's Halloween and this video is brought to you by the most festive of condoms. It may not be Halloween, but it is John Carpenter. At an American outpost in Antarctica, peace is disturbed by unexpected guests. Their Norwegian counterparts are chasing a husky from the air, armed with a rifle and a box of bombs. When they land, a miscue with a bomb turns their ride into an inferno, the pilot with it. The other member, in desperation, tries and fails to say his piece, but to no avail, continuing shooting, prompting retaliation, and ending him with one shot. Why? What happened to them? How did a dog send them into such a frenzy? A flight to their outpost reveals more questions and a discovery that changes everything. Jesus, how long you figure this has been in the ice? Well, the backscatter effect's been bringing things up from way down around here for a long time, I'd say. I'd say the ice that's buried in is 100,000 years old, at least. And those Norwegians blew it up. Yeah. John Carpenter's track record had been a consistent high. Assault on Precinct 13 was the best siege movie since Rio Bravo. Halloween, like Star Wars, was the kind of movie so good that the dividends would keep him going if he decided to retire then. The Fog was a cool little ghost story. Something of what it is, it's like an albatross around the neck, no more like a millstone, a plumbing stone. My God, damn them all. Escape from New York, his last low budget movie for AFCO Embassy. Masterclass with a fucking awesome cast and some interesting names behind the camera. The Thing, in my opinion, is his best movie. Like Alien, in some respects, they have vehicles to travel, but when shit goes down, they're isolated and vulnerable to attack. But what one thing Alien had was an escape vehicle. Kurt Russell and co are hundreds of miles from help. They have no way out and no one to call for help. The claustrophobia is dressed up like the fucking Grim Reaper. Regardless of the bigger budget, Dean Cundy's cinematography is one of his best. He would work with John Carpenter again one more time on Big Trouble in Little China. After The Thing came Psycho 2, and he was perfect for Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg. The budget did give greater freedom to the special effects provided by Rob Bettine with help from Stan Winston. Bettine worked so hard on this project that when the shooting finished, he ended up in hospital. That's pre-CGI dedication. 
This was released in one of the greatest years in cinema. The same year that was dominated by one movie, E.T. And while the critics loved that one, they hated the thing. 40 years on, it sat in a comfortable place as one of the 1980s best. And yes, it has a bust of sorts in the house of horror. I'm about to go see it on the big screen. I have waited years for this. It's a great way to end the series. We'll do you last. Get away from me! Retreating! What is it? all of you for coming and watching. I want to thank all of you who actually watched from start to finish. This has been a lot of work. I've had to start from nothing all over again and learn as I edit. I am fucking tired but I am thankful for all that's come in. I am so grateful Thank you very much, and I will be back for Christmas.